Last year, I picked up five gaming PCs for a tenner. They lived in the back of my car for so long now, I finally got them out as uh, I found a few uses for them. One became a makeshift NAS, two were sold as office PCs, one I've got planned for a future video, and finally the fifth one, the creme de la creme, is this old HP ProLine ML110G6. Yep, that's a mouthful. So please join me in true PC flipping style. We're gonna see what we can make out of this two pound office PC. Hopefully flip it and uh, make a decent profit. I'm Kyle and this is PC Flipping. On first inspection, it looks like the unit is in pretty good condition. I cracked open the case and didn't see a whole lot of dust. All the fans are relatively clean, it's either been untouched for a long time or someone gave it a full clean recently. This particular version contains an X3430 processor which is a 4 core processor dating all the way back to 2009 with a stock clock of 2.4GHz. This definitely won't be viable to sell on a budget gaming PC so after a bit of homework I decided that the X3460 would be the most sensible option here. If I'm right, uh, I think it's the equivalent of an i7-860 so you know, not great but we kind of have to work within the, the chipset here so we don't spend too much money and otherwise we're just building a completely new PC which kind of defeats the point of this channel. Anyway, X3460 uh, only cost me £20 from eBay and it gives us 4 cores, 8 threads with a base clock of 2.8GHz. It's meant to boost up to 3.4, um, but this motherboard, I'm not sure whether that's going to do that because it's just an old server one. I'm not sure how that's going to pan out. There's also 7GB of ECC RAM on board, which I've got really no experience in yet. So we'll see whether we we'll run into any issues swapping out for like regular non-ECC RAM once everything's built, and hopefully no issues there. Now obviously this thing is going to need some kind of graphics card, which I don't have a lot of at the moment. I don't think anyone really does anywhere. I'm always torn between what graphics card to pair with each processor I get, but ultimately have decided to use the best spare one I have, a 2GB GTX 960, which I picked up for £63 in a recent deal. The PSU doesn't have the right connectors for this, so for testing purposes I'm going to be rocking a 2 Molex to 8 pin adapter. I have no clue how this will pan out, but I'll trade the power supply out for a new one if I really have to. And for storage, I'm going to be using this SSD I picked up for £15 from eBay and this 500GB hard drive I ripped out of a Skybox I bought for £5. I also, on closer inspection, uh, realised that we don't actually have any kind of headphone jack on this PC. Uh, so I picked one up from Amazon for £5. Quid. Hopefully that turns up soon because I need it for this video. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I think if my maths is all correct, that brings our total to £90. Let's uh, cue the montage and uh, run some benchmarks. in between things we've never seen you're a mirror that my mind can't see through are you here with me one day we can see and all my life I'm broken ways but I know that time makes ways but I know that time makes ways ways
way We can make a way So there we go, um, for the price of the build, it's not all that bad. Didn't really have great experience in Apex. I think mainly due to the processor being quite slow, being quite old now. I was only using the seven gigabytes of RAM. I was intrigued just to see whether we could get away with that. Um, apparently not. <laughs> uh, Battlefield single player experience was pretty good. Um, good frames, uh, good 1% lows. Multiplayer was a little bit different. Um, you're looking more towards like a 60 frames per second there, which isn't too bad. It still feels quite clunky. Um, I wouldn't use it as like a daily driver. I wouldn't use it for gaming. Um, not for like, just really for the cost of the GTX 960 that you can buy now. Um, it, it's not worth it to put it in a build like this. Um, I probably, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do another video where I'm gonna kind of, in theory, downgrade the computer. What I want to do is compare it. I've just recently got hold of a 3200G. I want to compare like the X3460 plus a GTX 650 up against the 3200G. Just kind of see what happens. Cause I'm quite excited because I've never really had any kind of Ryzen stuff here to play about with. I've done builds in the past, but I never used it for myself. So that'll be fun. Just another quick note as well. Um, it's been a while since I posted a last video. I'm not going to bore you with the details, but uh, if you're watching this video, thank, thank you for sticking around. Thank you for the 500 subs. I'm loving the community. I'm loving the questions. Uh, the Discord's getting a bit busier. So if you're interested in getting involved, uh, if you have any questions regarding builds, want to show anything off, just jump in. Me, one of the other guys, we're going to be able to help you out and point you in the right direction. But yeah, more importantly, um, I hope you're all staying safe. Uh, I hope it's just genuinely just good. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to get back into the swing of things and start making some more videos. See you in the next one. Bye.